When I went to school, we sat in a classroom and we took notes and then we did a lab once a week. And it's nothing like what being a scientist is and it's nothing like what you do in a career in science. And I, I love doing that. And then when I got into the lab, I realized, you know, doing a one hour lab is kind of fun, but being in a lab eight, 10 or 12 hours a day wasn't something that I enjoyed. And I realized um, I wanted to get across what it is I enjoy about science, but also to have kids kind of discover what they like to do before they go out and commit themselves, I guess, to whatever it is. I think high school is a time where kids find out who they are, and therefore um, I try to vary what we're doing in class so the kids have an opportunity to say, um, you know, I like working with my hands, or I, I like solving puzzles, or I like when we do the computer work, uh, or I like the lab work. Um, so I try to do a lot of that, and I try to, um, as I said, bring things that are relevant. And relevant means also listening to the students, getting a feel for what sort of might pique their interest. So it's not only what they like, but it's what they might like that they don't know about. So, um, for example, um, in one of the biotech courses we start out, we do herbal medicine. And each kid is assigned an herb, and then they, uh, they research the herb up in the library and on the internet, and then they uh, make an extract and test the extract to see if it's antibacterial. And then they have to design a product that would utilize their herb. Most of the students I'm teaching are not going to become scientists, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, you know, I, I'm not going to treat them all like, oh, you should be scientists, but um, my class should be relevant to each one of them. And that might be um, just in having them appreciate the field. It might be in awakening an interest in them in um, some way um, that they didn't have before and in developing skills that will enable them to succeed academically.